All right. Moving right along, we're going to take it up to London, Ontario, Canada. It's funny. I've traveled right. all over the world, but London, Ontario is still one of my all-time favorite places. I feel like I'm home when, there, home when I'm there, and that's probably because the people are awesome. Starting with this man, the king of Canada, Mr. Steve Stewart. Hey. Hey, this is the guy. Every day I come in my studio, 6 a.m. to train. Every day, I always say good morning, Mr. Frank. Because he'd always, like you said, Dan, they're going to go Skirino Trail. You do it, homeboy. And uh, I miss that guy every day, especially right now. So anyway, I just want to let you know, this was done by one of my students. Jacob's mom actually did this painting. Angelo's been here, so he saw this hanging up there. So that's where it is, right with all his entourage. He was a fighter. So anyway, bring it, Mr. Jacob. And uh, Dan Dolfro, up in Canada, we pronounce it party wings, eh? So anyway, everybody's got some great stuff up there. <clears throat> so what I want to talk about here, first of all, if my hands are up here and he does a push at me, I might say, stop. I must put my hands down to do parting wings. However, if my hands are here, say, I don't want any trouble, he pushes at me, I'm going to come down and then come this way. We use employee hooking wings. Now, if my hands are down, though, and I drop back, when I drop back, like you say, it's got the forward momentum coming. So when I drop back, when my heel, from this way, when my heel, back heel land, I stonewall him because that's going to surge energy up into this and expand it this way if I use two-way action. If I use two-way action, that's what happens at the same time. So I'm hitting him on the radial, just underlying the radial bone, and the nerve that supports that into insertion points that are along that gateway that help cause flow. So from the science point of view, when I drop back, my hands come this way, I'm gonna use the two-way action on this angle, drop my heel this way here. Now, clean up the umbilicus, the belly button, about four inches lateral to that is another insertion point. This one here, the energy is moving this way on this one. I got a PhD in integrative naturopathic medicine, so I got a pretty good idea how this all works. 10 years in pathology, autopsy, it's a dead end job. Anyway, if I hit this one in and down, he can resist, hit it in and down. But if I tap it just slightly, in and up, that's what happens. That's where the energy, so I'm backing the energy up. So if he comes this way here again, hitting this way, I want to take this heel palm and again, I want to insert that two way action. <clears throat> Just to drive that, then I have a gateway. A couple of points I like to stride up here. A couple of insertion points up here, just about two inches down from the neck, lateral border. This one's here to support the blood pressure in the heart. So if I if I just tap that oh. there, that's what's going to happen. You just got to know where to hit it. You don't have to be right on it because the the points are about the size of a, a loony or a toonie or a fifty cent USA piece. So again, this way here, this way here. Now, you can do the extension, that's all great. A couple of things I like to add in here, alternatives. When I go from here, I got more force. Here, when I retract that, when I shift that, I hit. I can either hit it at the xiphoid process at the base of the sternum, it's called the celiac plexus. It'll get the diaphragm to start spasm. Or I can hit just slightly below that, which will cause, Tremendous amount of pain, and it drops the energy to the ground. So, a couple of things on doing this. Like Angela was saying, I try to push his arms out, he's coming at me. You can't. You can't do that. But if I cross, I can push him. The reason I can do that, because when you cross center line, the corpus callosum, this works this side, this works this side, as soon as you cross the arms, the brain has no idea where these went to. For the moment, you just trick the brain. Then you can push them back. If I try to push them this way, if I try to push them this way, I can't. But as soon as I cross, it's much easier to do. Another thing I want to talk about this one on here without doing the extension. Again, as he pushes, when I drop back, I drop that heel. Same time I hit, boom. <laughs> Now, from this position here, I can hit to the throat, grab the finger, take it to the ground. So when I insert it to an insertion, 
<clears throat> Come over this way. Right, the base, I use my middle one like a scale or not straight in. You go in with a little curvature like they're cleaning your teeth like hygienists do. You just push that in oh, and down. Oh. I learned that from Professor Wally J many years ago. It suddenly ends a dear friend of mine. So I like to incorporate a lot of those principles into that. So again, and on the arm, like I said, the radial bone, if, the, if I hit it upwards, nothing. But if I hit it downward, you get a response because the energy is moving that way. So when I hit it backwards, I'm just backing it up. And then it pulls in here and it makes it much easier to drop into the ground. So I think my time's up, but I just really want to really, you know, cap on a couple of those principles about, you know, areas of a striking, especially a bigger person against somebody not as tall, because they can take a lot of abuse. But if you know where to drive it, then it makes it a lot easier. Anyway, I'm Steve Stewart, King of Canada, and I approve this message. <laughs> So how do we know that Canadians are nice? <clears throat> Look at what they call their money. In America, what do we have? We have cheddar. We have C-note. In Canada, you have loony and toony. It's just nice. Anyway, thank you very much, Steve Stewart. Thank you very much, Jacob. All right.